guys uh this is the first time i've sat down in literally about five days to do makeup i've had the flu all week um i've saved so many of your requests to do like halloween looks i'm gonna do loads next week but i've literally received like an overwhelming amount of pr this week i'm so so grateful literally um so i thought i'd do a little like get ready with me using all my new little bits i started with this body shop uh fresh nude foundation I really keep meaning to go in body shop because i want their pumpkin vanilla shower gel um it's never in stock online i really want it it's looking and feeling very fresh very dewy as well the anastasia uh magic touch concealer is actually so flawless and brightening oh for contour i have actually used this once before this is the um she glam soft tan liquid contour it's such like got such a nice cool undertone i really like it a lot of contours are quite orange so then it yeah it just doesn't look good but this is really nice for contour it blends out really easily as well obviously looking very dewy so gonna use the brightening new charlotte tilbury powder very excited about this because i love the um normal one so good got a bit too much but let's see what this is like it's a difference before and after wow i feel like they really needed this brightening one my god i actually love this by the way how nice is this palette i actually bought this from beauty bay it's bh cosmetics flower power i think are they not all the perfect shades just apply wicked which is like that kylie jenner baby pink oh my god this is almost like a little dior dupe for lips i want to try the uh, wonder skin kit this is in shade xoxo I've seen this before you like apply the lip color Oh, let's apply two to three thick coats. This isn't the colour, by the way. I'm going to leave for 60 seconds. Can you spray this activator on it? Oh, that was more powerful than I thought. And then... Ooh. Added some lip oil and some lashes because I've run out of time for eyes. I have got some new eyeshadow palettes, so I'll do another video soon. Doing my makeup using only my left hand. Should be interesting because I never use my left hand. I'm with foundation, it even feels weird to like pump with my left hand. So let's blend this out. Hopefully this should look all right. It's definitely slower than my right hand. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's do concealer. It's going to be a bit shaky. Then let's blend this out. My left arm is literally starting to feel so dead and bruised. <laughs> now for contour. Which literally feels so weird. Oh, I don't like it. Let's do some freckles. Oh my god, I didn't blend those out quick enough. Let's do the other side a bit quicker. Do a little bit of blush. Let's go for this shade. Oh, trying to blend it out, but it's just getting worse. Oh, it's actually, let's get in there, actually. Getting powder. Brows, this is not going to go well. Oh, i blend this in. Just try and neaten that up a bit. Brows aren't exactly how I want them to look, but let's do lip liner lipstick god the bit i've been dreading eyeliner that oh, spills weird oh my god i'm running out of time as well i think i've done it finally mascara zoom in so i can see a bit better this is the finished look it was slow but it worked yay i'm gonna show you what i would do for something like this so this is just my normal like basic makeup i'm gonna add on to it i need an orange eyeshadow and a black uh eyeliner dust the orange eyeshadow again because this is halloween it doesn't really have to be neat it can be quite messy so just apply our orange eyeshadow and just blur it out like that let's take it underneath as well like this i'm gonna apply black pencil liner just to the waterline and on top as well again just buff that eyeliner out so the thicker 
the eyeliner, the more dramatic and like scary it's gonna look. I'm gonna add orange onto the nose. Again, draw around it with your eyeliner and buff it out again. I'm gonna add like little stitches into it like this. Add some orange uh, blush, just go around in a circle. And I'm actually just gonna deepen up this black on here as well. Then just outlining the lips with the same uh, eyeliner. I kind of drag this out like this. Carefully blend it until it looks something like this. And we're gonna add some little light stitches again. I'm gonna take it all the way across the lips. I'm gonna add a few little freckles. So you can do this with a freckle pen or uh, a brown eyeliner or lip liner. I'm actually just adding a few little lip liner freckles because I think they look a bit more natural. Okay, now you can either add a lot of mascara but I'm going to add some lashes. Lashes and I've just added a little bit of red to the centre just to make it look a bit better. And then finally going to draw a few little like stitch lines like this. Something like this uh, and if you want to make it really scary you can add contact lenses. And this is the finished look. I think uh, black contacts would look really cool as well. Let's do Pennywise, but like glam edition. Let's start with my normal base. And this is the base done. I'm going to add red eyeshadow all over the eyelid. Blend it out at the edges. Make it underneath as well. I'm going to add liner to the bottom. Oh, neaten that up a little bit. On top as well. And then we're going to add lashes. I'm going to use the Ardell 8D lashes in style 951 them on they look really cute i like them i'm gonna add a brown lip liner and blend it in oh with a red lipstick got to be really woo add a little bit of this to the nose as well and blend it out and i don't trust myself so i'm just using a white pencil to kind of map out where i'm gonna put the lines i think that's about even hopefully go over the white now with red eyeshadow now we're going to take Thick Blood. This is the Ben Nye one. This is literally getting used more than anything this month. Um, and we're just going to follow that up. So just basically through the middle, just like so. Take it up here as well. And we're going to sipple some blood like around the edges. Keep going like over until you're kind of happy with how much splatter you've got. A bit of glitter to the inner corner, as always. Let's make the nose look shiny and the lips. And I'm just gonna add like a few white little bits into the blood, just like this, and we're nearly done. Add my little clown collar. Try not to strangle myself. Oh my god, and I nearly forgot contact lenses. I've just added the contact lenses and this is the finished look. Bye. Trying Kim I Kardashian's lip to combo to from early even. 2000s. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Obviously you don't get it because you're not that girl. Okay, let's do an angel makeup. I'm going to do like an evil angel in a couple of days as well. Start by putting some concealer through the brows and to the under eyes as well. Add some white into the brows as well to lighten them up a little bit more. Some white eyeshadow. I'm going to just fluff the edges out. And some white eyeliner. I'm waiting for my lashes to dry. I'm going to add some super light pink uh, blush. Kind of blend it up to the eyeshadow. I just love like the contrast it gives. Let's line the lips. I'm using um, MAC Strip Down for this. MAC uh, Cream Cup. I love this so much. Is it Cream Cup or Creme Cup? No idea. Add some little dainty white lashes. I use a bit of my Fenty uh, highlighter. Just add a little bit to the inner corners and down the nose and just dust a little bit over the face and then we'll add a few little gems some of these tiny little gems a few slightly bigger ones she just gonna add a bit of white to the lips let's not forget the wings finish with some white uh, drips down the neck just add your finishing touches join them together doesn't need to be neat um 
but yeah this is the finished look okay let's do this again with a smaller uh, bullet wound again powder in the skin with whatever powder you've got and add in a dollop of lash glue taking your tissue paper uh twisting a piece of tissue paper and then applying it in a circle then once it's in place going to cover it with foundation apply black eyeshadow to the center uh, and then you want to make it look bruised on the outside so i'm just adding some red and purple eyeshadow then taking the Ben Nye Thick Blood, going to put literally loads of this in the center and then drag it down um, and stipple around the outside just to make it look like splattered. And yeah, this is the finished look. I'm much happier with how it turned out this time. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Let's do a Joker-like glam makeup because you can't beat Joker at Halloween. I'm going to do my normal base. I won't bore you with all those details. Base, and I'm going to do my brows as normal. I'm also going to add in some strokes of dark green. This is just uh, eyeshadow, by the way. So they're looking a little something like this. And I'm going to cover the eyelid in that same um, green eyeshadow. Blend out the edges. Take it underneath as well. I'm going to add some eyeliner to the waterline. So on top, just roughly like that. Again, just buff that out for like more of a smoky effect. So I'm just going to use the eyeliner just to make it look like the eyeliner is like leaking down a bit. Just like that. I take some Meron uh, Rigid Collodion. I got this from Amazon. It's about £10. You want to be so careful with this because the fumes are really strong. But I'm just going to draw like a scar. Do a couple of uh, layers of this. While we're leaving that to dry, I'm going to do a red lip. I'm going with a dark brown lip liner. This is a Morphe Trendsetter gonna fill with mac uh, this is shade devoted to danger use that rigid uh, collodion to scar out the smile can you see how that is going tight now like a scar you can't see as much on camera but if i zoom you in this is what it looks like just taking a bit of concealer over the top literally gonna smudge the lipstick out add some thick blood through the middle and kind of just blend that out onto the lip and also just tap it around as well make it look a bit better to get this scar as well like so add some mascara and some lashes while my lashes are drying i'm gonna add like a little black j just checking my picture from last year how i've done it some inner corner highlight which just exploded over me. Lashes are on now. Let's just add some clear gloss. I suppose I should write that ha ha business all over my neck. Then you can either add a wig or spray paint your hair green. And yeah, this finished look. Let's do a dark angel. I'm excited for this one. I do my brows and base as normal. Okay, this is the base done. Now I'm taking the P. Louise uh, black base and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids. And I'm kind of stippling it like this because i want it to be like messy same on the other side as well it's going to um put some black eyeshadow just on top to set it in place don't need to worry about the edges but just the main part of the uh, eyelid and pencil eyeliner on the uh, waterline smudge that out added mascara and my lashes have got glue on so while they're drying let's do the lips with the same uh, eyeliner outline like this just using the uh, Makeup Revolution Black Lipstick and add on top the lashes. I'm now going to use that P. Louise base again to kind of draw some tears just coming down. I'm do this with um, black face paint as well. It doesn't need to be this base, by the way. I just keep going until it looks something like this. I also want to do some drips down the neck as well. Shall I? Shouldn't I? I'm using black uh, face paint for this rather than the uh the p louise thing i'm glad i added these the more drips the better in my opinion but obviously if you want to leave them off then you leave them off add some gloss the clear nyx uh butter gloss by the way but i've probably ruined it now whoops all tiny bit of nose highlight to my wings and i wish i had like blackout contact lenses let me see if white works because i've got those mm, i feel like it's better without contacts i wish these were black that would look so much better but yeah put them both in anyway just so you can see and yeah this is the finished look <laughs>
This is why I don't tell anyone where I live. There was once a boy who asked his single father for a bedtime story. So the father told him, there was once a boy named Colby who made friends with another boy online called Helper23. On Colby's birthday, Helper23 wanted to give him a present in real life. So Colby gave him his home address where he lives with his mom, his dad, and his little brother. But then Colby started to feel a bit weird about giving his address to a stranger online. The next night, he thought he had to tell his parents about it. He called out to his dad but got no reply, then found both his parents killed and a man wearing a dark hoodie holding a knife in the hallway. As Colby started to beg for his life, he hears his little brother crying in the next room. The intruder then strangles Colby and leaves the house with Colby's baby brother. The boy then looks up at his father and asks, why did the intruder take the baby? To which his father just calmly smiled and said, I've always wanted to be a father. Do your makeup using only lipstick. Sealer, I'm using uh, FOMO by Doll Beauty. This is literally the lightest shade lipstick I've got. Just gonna go ahead and hopefully blend this in. Weirdly enough, it's actually blending out all right literally can't find a shade for my skin tone oh my god i'm hoping this might blend out okay although i think it's gonna look a little bit orange oh my god it's blending it's blending it doesn't look too bad there that's the foundation contour i'm gonna use this is a really nice shade of brown it's rose brown by um abh it is satin though, which I think might be a problem, but we'll see. I don't know how this is going to blend. This is going pretty well. So if in doubt, guys, just stock up on different lipstick shades. We go for a super pink blush. This is from the Morphe Disney range, by the way. I actually think I prefer it as a blush than a lipstick. Okay, the lipstick's quite hard to blend. You have to work quite fast before it dries i think that will do a bit of this for eyeshadow i should have gone with a matte one actually thinking about it just blend this out as well as i can looks a little bit dodgy let's take this black lipstick by revolution just add a bit of liner Ew. just buff this out don't think i should have put this much on it's quite a lot for lips gonna use this same abh one to outline just like so add a few little freckles as well tap that out fill the lips with this new uh mac lipstick just added powder and lashes and honestly why do i love this